Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session. We have is Tuesday, the 9th of October 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app on the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so uh, in terms of today's market action, we have China certainly just about manages to squeak out again there. So, markets certainly stabilizing in Asia. Uh, U.S. markets certainly bounced quite sharply yesterday as well, given the fact that the S&P certainly has nailed that pivot low for now, uh, given the uh, bottoming tail that we created yesterday. We still have yet to close the gap at 28.56, but that certainly is another uh, obviously video. I'll certainly discuss that all together. Okay, now in terms of European markets this morning, they've certainly uh, failed to uh, uh, push higher on the back of uh, U.S. equities, obviously pushing higher, and given the fact that uh, uh, the... Um, situation in Asia certainly seems to have stabilized for now and that's failed to uh, trigger a short squeeze now we've just had a uh, one of the Italian uh, finance ministers trio speech has now ended uh, once the liberalized sector is currently under impacted by monopolies uh, government economic forecasts are cautious the estimates from IMF and Italian ought to be revised etc etc uh, obviously given the fact that the EC uh, European Union have obviously rejected their budget and they're sticking their guns with regards to that 2.4 percent deficit target okay that's the status quo anyway with regards to uh, the situation in europe uh, again uh, in terms of the economic data for the remainder uh, of europe we've got german exports imports certainly coming in weaker than expected uh, we've got uk retail sales and uk consumption patterns certainly weaker than expected as well and that certainly is obviously weighing on sentiment to a large extent too okay so that's basically the uh, status quo uh, China, China again, like I said, certainly has shaken off that potential bearish trend. Okay, now in terms of the world fund, uh, the world indices now are potentially into support. So just bear that in mind, folks. Okay, so looking at potential support here now. Uh, this is the world index that we were witnessing at the moment. This is your daily chart. So again, looking for potential support here now. Okay, in this zone, if the market continues to obviously sell off, then we are looking to gap fill below. On the world index in terms of the uh, technical aspect of european indices again german dax isn't exactly making a, um, a lower low convincingly so keep an eye on that okay we do have this uh, bearish channel in place so again looking for potential support below okay so again if we can retrace here push out higher and obviously potentially attempt to close that gap above so watch out above in terms of the german dax the daily chart in german dax at the moment we are now coming into support so this zone here 11 900 solid support zone certainly wouldn't like to be short european equities in this area in terms of the french cac again looking at horizontal support you do have unfilled gap at 5 to 85 so watch out for that zone there and again this is an area that i will certainly wouldn't like to be short if anything i'd be looking for a short squeeze so watch out there in terms of the FTSE 100 let's see exactly what's going on here We're certainly making a base on the FTSE certainly making a base base is being built around the 7232 which coincides with a 60 minute support zone okay and obviously coincides with a daily chart as well so certainly looking for a short squeeze on the FTSE but I've certainly uh, have reduced my risk given the fact that uh, this market certainly is quite crazy the volatility at the present especially yesterday with regards to Google that certainly sent the uh, stock indices even lower only to recover so watch out below okay uh, euro stocks that's the index that I'm currently long on at present okay looking for a potential short squeeze even though we are in potential no man's land there is horizontal support in this zone here so watch out around this zone for the index okay so certainly looking for a potential pop here if the market obviously continues to slide then you are looking at 3270 potentially even 3260 could te get tested as well in the daily chart so that's something certainly to bear in mind but so from a 60 minute chart perspective certainly looking for a potential pop okay so i think that's a summation really of european indices again the italian concerns continue to weigh us china concerns continue to weigh uh, the sector with regards to the nasdaq certainly under immense pressure yesterday with regards to google plus uh, reporting a potential data breach there as well okay so all those factors certainly coming into play the imf have actually cut growth forecasts but which to be honest with you given the market sell-off it's already baked that into the cake already nothing really new something that we already knew uh, going forward so okay so that's the status quo then on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com take advantage of the bonus there and also be sure to visit trade signal download the latest trade signal app goodbye now